Hey again everyone, it's Rob Ryder and this is going to be a short video just trying to help out our friends to the north and uh, it's this, that the Queen in Canada, the defender of the faith versus Justin Trudeau. Because if Justin Trudeau is Fidel Castro's son and he's an illegitimate bastard, he's not Canadian. And is Prime Minister only by his act of bad faith of not disclosing his ancestors. Right? And, uh, you know, by title, the Queen is the defender of the faith. Now, we're not actually expecting the Queen to have to do much. Right? But in English law, there's uh, going through the Court of Chancery. You go to the Chancellor, who's the keeper of the uh, Queen's conscience. That's, you know, just old English law that's been around for hundreds of years. All right? That the uh, Chancellor of the Court of Chancery is the Crown's conscience and can make decisions on behalf of the Crown. But, you know, you have to go to that jurisdiction, and that's not going to these courts that have you going in Canada. To get to that jurisdiction, I think you have to go to the Church of England, which I think they call the Anglican Church in Canada, because it's the thing that's attached to the Church of England, which is part of the government of England. Right? That's like the local, uh, you know, uh, seat of government in the in any parish would be uh, the parish church of a Church of England church. They just changed the name. Now I think it's called the Anglican Church of uh, Canada. Right? So my point is you go to the vicar and you have him petition through the proper channels to get to the chancellor to have them make a decision on if Justin Trudeau is an illegitimate bastard or Canadian. And if he's illegitimate, well, then he can't be prime minister. And, you know, he's only there because of his act of bad faith. We need somebody to make a judgment on the faith of the uh, acts that have happened. Which would include, then, since we're going this far, you know, you might as well clean up shop as much as you can. So, did the members of Canada's parliament take the loyalty oath required by law exactly as written and signed in their full legal name? You know, because if they didn't, then they omitted to take a loyalty oath. And since Henry VIII, it's been an act of treason to admit executing a loyalty oath to the crown. So, you know, if you're from Canada and you're, somebody sent this to you to look at, you know, I've shown this numerous times in the United States, where there's a particular oath that's required to satisfy the requirements of the United States. It was put in the first law uh, after the ratification of the Constitution. Right, I state your name, you solemnly swear to support the Constitution of the United States. Everybody's supposed to take it, and nobody is. I'm sure you have the same problem in Canada. None of these people have taken the proper oath of office. They're, you know, they're illegitimate bastards, pretending to be Canadian. And they're not holding their office unless they took a proper oath, and they have to show it to you. And if they don't, well, then they've committed an act of treason. You tell the vicar, the vicar tells the uh, court of Chancery, and uh, you know the defender of the faith comes and cleans up the, uh, you know, all the infidels. That's what her job is. So here's an Yankees, uh, Yankees input, right? So has anyone in Canada petitioned the Queen? She is the defender of the faith, and the Prime Minister is acting as bad faith, so she needs to be petitioned by the people for relief. That's just, you know, common law from Canada, uh, from England. Your commonwealth of hers, she's responsible for you. She is the defender of the faith. You must go to her. Somebody has to know the procedure, and I suggest it's the vicar of the nearest Church of England slash Anglican Church of Canada. The parish church of the Church of England is the seat of government for the crown in that parish. The crown controls its domain locally by its parish church in conjunction with the court of chancery in England. Right, Canada's relief will come from the Court of Chancery with the Chancellor acting as the Queen's conscience, uh, conscience and that royal court's jurisdiction starts at the local parish. This is English common law, which is the law of the land for England and its dominions, and it is supreme form of law in England. Now, all you need to do is get the vicar to agree. I'm just saying that, you know, it makes perfectly good sense if you were just to go read a little Blackstone and say, well, you know, we're talking about the courts of England, and the, the Queen is uh, 
the defender of the faith of the dominion of Canada. You know, they, you can't change these things. It's just a, the laws of England. It's just to get to that jurisdiction, you have to go through the church because that's how the queen controls the jurisdiction. The, the church is part of the state in England. And that's really all you need to know. Now, how you get it done exactly, you know, go ask a vicar when he tells you, please tell me. Uh, very good. And uh, all my contact information is on any other video I've ever done. I just failed to put it on here, and I'm not going to stop down to do it. But, uh, you know, my name is Robert Allen Rutluski, Staff Sergeant United States Army, veteran. And uh, got nothing to hide. So, you know, please uh, let me know what you find out. Because I don't believe Justin Trudeau is, uh, you know, that he's Canadian. I, I believe he's an old gentleman bastard. If he's Fidel Castro's son, then he's certainly not Canadian. And that is an act of bad faith that he is your prime minister. Go tell the queen. Okay, let's leave it there. Have a great day. Thanks.